everybody. Welcome to Coffee and Conversations with the one and only J Man. Your morning will never be the same. Here we go. Good morning, good morning, good morning, <clears throat> good morning. You're listening to Coffee and Conversation with your boy Jay Mad on Speaker.com, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and all the other platforms that we're on. Even Alexa, that's right, Alexa can't make it do what it do. Good morning, uh, Nurse Rachel. Good morning to you and to my my Winship Warriors, Emory Winship Cancer Center. Good morning to you all out there, to all of my warriors out there and all of the trainers, the doctors and nurses that's helping you all. Blessings on you. Blessings, blessings, blessings on you. Good morning, um, Yogi. Good to have you on the show um, this morning as well. Uh, good morning, uh, Dr. Tony. Good morning, dear. Good to have you on the show listening in as well. Um, this morning, I want to talk about, um, well, you kind of guessed it. I played the song Respect. I want to talk about Respect. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be from um, from the mindset that you all think I would go in, but I'm, I'll, I'll go with it. It's more so of, um, uh, we'll call it self-respect. We'll call it self-respect. Um, oftentimes, oftentimes I hear people or see people... Uh, um, run around saying, oh, "Oh, I'm the I'm 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 the boss," or, "Hey, I'm 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 a queen," or, "I'm a king." I get the sentiment. I I do. I, I'm I'm the man. I'm the woman. One thing I learned about being all of those things is that when you are those things. You never have to share uh, outwardly with your voice that you are those things. A queen and a king never walks into a room and state, I'm a king. I'm the king. I'm the queen. Queen Elizabeth, when she walks in a room, it's understood. 
that she's the queen. She carries herself as as such. She moves as as such. She speaks as such. People respect her because, first of all, she respects herself. You can be all of those things. You can be a king. You can be a queen. You you can you can be this. You can be that. The secret is being that. People who are that king, queen, boss, whatever you want to say, when they are that, they do not have to uh, verbalize it. People will automatically pick up on it because of how they are uh, are carrying themselves. Forcing someone to respect you can never be done. Well, it can be done. You can force people to respect you, but it would not be called respect. When you're in powerful positions, when you're in a powerful position, a powerful position. Yes, you can force people to respect you. You have something. Uh, you have the carrot carrot over their head. You you have what they want. So in order to get what they want, you have to you, you hold hold a carrot over their head, or in fear of discipline. In the military, um, there was always this thing that we had. You know, there are certain people when we salute, we look them in the eyes because we respect them as an officer. Other times we look at when we salute them, we look at their rank on their collar. We salute the rank on their collar. There's always a difference. My question this morning to you all is this. If you are a king, queen, man, woman, how the boss, however you want to do However you want to suggest to yourself that. How are you carrying yourself? How are you how are you respecting yourself? How are you um, um, when you walk into to a room? How are you how are you carrying yourself when you do things, when you make decisions about uh, whether it's work, life, livelihood, whatever the case may be? How are you carrying yourself? Or better yet, how are you respecting that position? How are you respecting that position that you that we call ourselves being? I don't I've, I've never gone around and said I'm a king. No, I, I don't have to say that. Because if I'm that I'm that no one else has to acknowledge that no one else has to put that title on me it is a sign of respect there it is when they do because as a sign of respect it's something that they acknowledge i didn't force them to say it i didn't make them say it i didn't it it, it was i'm not in their in their chain of command if you will But when you when you see a woman, when you see a man, when you see a person carrying themselves as such, nine times out of ten, you're going to respect them in that position. If I can, uh, um, if if I can uh, have a, a biblical conversation with you, uh, when when when. Uh, the Bible s- suggests that when a man finds a wife, she, the woman doesn't doesn't uh, is not a wife just because she says she wants she's one. A man would not respect or recognize respect or recognize her as a wife if she's not carrying herself as one. You 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 see uh, men walking around. I, I'm I'm the man. you. We would women would not respect us or recognize us 
as a man if we are not carrying ourselves as one. We may be a male, but there's a difference between being a male and a man. All of these all of these positions and all of these things that we 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 um call ourselves or desire to be all starts in the confines of our own home. And when I mean by home, I mean our being. Your, your own personal being. When you, when, you, when you want to be respected as a wife, then carry yourself as such. When you want to be uh, recognized as a king, a queen, act as such. If you want to be the boss, I'm a boss, then carry yourself at, as such. It all starts at home. It, start, it all starts within ourselves. Respect, the respect that we desire from, from other people or the recognition we desire from other people starts right there in the confines of your own self. When you look in the mirror, are you forcing yourself to call your, are you forcing your being to be a queen, king, whatever you want to call it, whatever um, um, verb or not verb, a noun you want to call it? Are you forcing yourself or are you that? If you were to give a definition to what a woman is, to what a man is, to what a queen is, king is, boss is, whatever. If you were to give a definition to that, are you that? In order for you to call another person a king, queen, whatever the case may be. Are you those things? And you don't have to do it out loud. You just have to live it. Respect comes from being you. There are certain places, uh, especially when I was with with, uh, with with this religious organization I was with, and we would do conference. I I would walk, and people would just move out of my way, not because I was forcing them to move. They recognized who I was. I could I, I I could I could have walked in any room I wanted to walk in. Any meeting that was what was open, I was able to walk in. Because they recognized I didn't have to I didn't have to, I didn't wear a name tag on. I didn't wear a big sign on me saying that I'm this. Even the even the the lay members, they recognized me and they gave me not because I forced them to. It's because I carried myself in a respectable manner. I knew and I owned my job. I owned my job. I owned my position. If you if you want to be the boss, if you want to be the king, if you want to be the, the queen, own that position. Respect comes from respecting yourself. And if you respect yourself, guess what you're going to do? You're going to respect others. You're going to see the good in other people. and You're going to respect them. Respect is something that um, I would say is hard to come by, but it really isn't. Because I could I could tell I could look you, you could just about look at a person and tell if they respect themselves. I've seen homeless people that respected themselves more than people who have fine homes and cars. No matter where we are in life, respect, the word respect is a term, it's a word that we're going to have to use in order to become 
better better as 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 a individual better as an employee better as family better as a no, a nation think about the stuff that we're going through now with the pandemic and the and the and the um um vaccination just because one person wants it this way and and the other one don't does not mean that they're wrong it's just showing you their level of respect for themselves some people say well i i am respecting myself and i'm going to get the vaccination because i respect uh my i respect um um uh, my body and i respect uh the people around me so i'm get i am getting the re- another person says i respect myself too i respect my myself enough not to get it put that vaccination within myself um i respect you know i understand that if they tell me to, to wear a mask i i just have to wear a mask because i want to respect other people it's all about how how we perceive it and it's all about the 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 the, the bottom line to it is when you when you look in the mirror how are you defining it when you're looking in the mirror, uh, how is that person in the mirror defining the word respect? Always remember. Oh, we all we almost we always have to remember that when it comes to when it comes to respect. For others, that I am going to respect the man in the mirror. That's what, that's what my matter of fact. That should have been a song I, I play. I, I understood we just had a interrupt interruption of internet. Um, um, Michael Jackson says, um, "I'm looking at the man in in the mirror. I'm I'm causing that person." To change, I'm causing that person to be better. I'm causing that person to respect himself, herself, the one in the mirror. And when we gather those things, and when we do those things, that thing, that 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 um, that one thing, that person in the mirror. If we if we respect that person, if we give cadence to to that person in the mirror, I guarantee you, you're going to affect the, the the person standing next to you on your left, on your right. You're going to show them something different. And guess what? When they when they when they recognize it, when they see, oh, that's how that's how she's doing it. That's how he's doing it. That's how he gets the, the respect that he does. People around you're going to affect the next person. And then they're going to affect the next person. When we love ourselves and we respect ourselves, we're showing other people how to love us and respect us. We're not going to sit there and force people to to, uh, love us. We're not going to sit and force people to respect us. We can only show people how to do it. We really can't even teach them how to do it. We can conversate about it. But in order for them to get it, get it, they got to see you doing it for yourself. They got to see you loving on yourself. They got to see you respecting yourself enough to to do certain things, to be a certain way. It all depends on how we see ourselves. Respect. That's the word that I will leave you for this weekend to ponder over for the remainder of the week. You all have a great, 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 great weekend. And remember, respect yourself and respect others. You all be good. I will see you 
next Tuesday. Have a great rest of the week and have a great weekend. I'll see you Tuesday. Bye-bye.